Inflation seems to be on everyone's mind these days. And whenever the latest inflation figure is about to be announced, Americans everywhere hold their collective breath to see if prices are rising or falling. The inflation measure familiar to most people is the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. But are you aware there's a lesser known and very different version of that index preferred by economists? Welcome to Economics Made Simple. The version of CPI I'm talking about is called Core CPI. To help us understand Core CPI and what makes it a favorite of economists, let's check in with Clint Dahl. As you noted, a lot of fanfare goes around the Consumer Price Index release each month. The CPI reflects a basket of goods and services, or what consumers pay each month. This greater tendency of price volatility prompts economists to look past the headline CPI and more at core CPI, which they view as more representative of general prices. Core CPI will remove food and energy from that basket. Why is there an inflation measure that doesn't capture food or energy? In a word, volatility. Food and energy are subject to volatility that's not rooted in basic laws of supply and demand or monetary policy. Changes in weather conditions, natural disasters, political upheaval, and geopolitical crises are just some of the examples of usually temporary but often dramatic events that can have a major impact on food and energy prices. Here's a simple example of how economists might evaluate inflation through the lens of core CPI. Let's say that headline inflation has been making big jumps month to month, but the core CPI has been making smaller jumps. This might indicate to economists that food and energy prices are having an outsized impact on the headline number. It could further indicate to them that inflation at a fundamental level, the kind that is impacted by monetary policy, is weakening. If inflation is actually weakening rather than strengthening, the Fed may be less inclined to respond to the rise in headline CPI with monetary policy. This might explain what seems like a soft response by the Federal Reserve to the headline inflation numbers. Of course, many Americans may roll their eyes at the notion of an index that doesn't include food and energy. Nevertheless, central banks and economists might prioritize core CPI when taking action. But my guess is that it's the headline CPI, the one that includes food and energy, that concerns more Americans when it comes to their monetary policy. So if food and energy prices are going up, it might not be a bad idea to start tightening your budget and saving for the future. You may be right about that, Clint. And thank you for that informative, understandable explanation of core CPI. That's it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and check back often for more Economics Made Simple. Are you worried the Fed might move toward a U.S. digital dollar and get more control of your IRA or 401k? The value of money has been shrinking, in part due to the Federal Reserve's inflationary actions. The fact is, Washington has been exploring a digital dollar currency system, which could give government greater digital access to and control over your money. We'd like to show you what's going on. In this guide, we offer surprising, behind-the-scenes information about the digital dollar and our economy. Don't miss this opportunity to be included. Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Montana became a customer and our corporate ambassador after he got the same information. Please learn from his example and order your guide today. Hi, I'm Joe Montana. I had a lot of success in my football career and it wouldn't have been possible without a great team protecting me. I'm here to tell you about my dedicated and knowledgeable team at Augusta Precious Metals that helped diversify my portfolio to protect my hard-earned retirement savings. Augusta's professional economic analyst will show you what they showed me through a live web conference packed with valuable information that bankers and Wall Street players don't want you to know. To get the playbook, all you have to do is sign up for the web conference. So hit that sign up link and get coached by a winning team. It's one you can't afford to miss.
My name is Brian Panabecker. I live in Macomb County, Michigan. I'll be turning 60 years old in about a week. I'm nearing retirement. After bouncing around a little bit, I hired in at Ford Motor Company and I've been working for Ford Motor Company for 23 years now. My wife and I like to exercise and work out. We walk together, we bike ride together. My wife and I like to travel a little bit and as I'm getting closer to retirement, one of the considerations that I had was having enough money to take some trips. Our family is very important to us. We want to be able to enjoy our retirement years and spend time with, with our sons and their families down the road. I'm going to have a small pension coming to me from the 11 years that I worked at Chrysler Corporation and I'll have 24 years with Ford Motor Company uh, when I retire in 18 months. But neither one of them are uh, going to be big enough to rely on. So I've got uh, some money in my 401k that I recently rolled over into an IRA with Augusta Precious Metals. If I schedule an appointment, I can go to the depository where my silver is going to be held. And I can actually see the silver that I've invested in. I can hold it in my hands. There's several out there that offer investing and you see a lot of uh, advertisements on television but Augusta made the process very simple they answered all my questions they explained everything to me uh, very clearly and I just I just felt very comfortable with Augusta I'm looking forward to some traveling some uh, spending some time with my family some good years of retirement and Augusta's gonna help me do that Picking the right gold IRA company is important. Augusta Precious Metals is our top pick and for good reason. They were rated best gold IRA in Money Magazine for 2022 and have the highest level of customer satisfaction in the industry. They can help you roll over a traditional IRA or 401k plan into gold or open a new account. Just click on the link below the video or visit goldinvestingtoday.com. You can also call 1-855-470-4636. Get in touch now.